Hello, welcome back to the PHP um, tutorial on creating a shopping cart. Uh, shopping cart. Um, sorry, it's been a long time since I last recorded a video. Um, I've been ill and also I've had some exams at school. So, um, onto this. Wait. Basically, um, the code I gave you for the for each is a code. This code here, which for each post quantity as key equals value. Um, that function doesn't work. So basically we're going to rewrite that. This is what it goes to us at the moment. It gives us an invalid argument supplied for for each in line 3, which is this line. So clearly this is the problem. So if we delete that, and I've re uh, pre-written the code already to make this video quite short. So basically open that, I'll just delete the comment tags. And, uh, basically the new fix is for each post as key equals value which is quite similar to the last one before except for if you notice we don't have quantity here because um, the way we've set it up we need to do something like this which I tried before and it doesn't work as I need to predefine key and then um, carry it on and it just doesn't work so we're going to use, simply use post because all we're sending over is this data and the submit. Um, so basically, what we do is we explode. Uh, we have the key, which is the um, we, uh, we have the key which we define and split from the quantity. So we'll basically have something like would um, we'd split that. So basically, all we'll get is the value two, which would tell us that it's ID number two, and we would store that in the key variable again. Then we end it, and then we start it again, and we just get rid of submit. So all we do, all we have now, say if we have, um, if we had quantity, quantity two, and then quantity four, six, eight, ten, five, seven, whatever, base, and then at the end we'd always always have a submit. So maybe to so the end of it, it could look something like that, and that doesn't look very nice at all because we can't use that submit at all. So what we do is we simply explode it so that we don't have submit anymore. So we've just got rid of submit and now we have the all the numbers, the keys. And now then what we do is we uh, go down to this if statement and we do if quantity and then hyphen and then we concatenate the key onto it so it would look something like this. If the key value was 2, it would become 2, and then next loop it will become 3, then 4, then 5, then 6, then 7, etc. And it checks if the value is equal to 8, um, no, to 0, sorry. And if it is 0, it unsets the value, it unsets the um, session, which is what's going to remove it from the list. But I'll just show you quickly what that does. Um, just make sure. Save that. If I set that to zero, have a look here. Alex Bowers' amazing tutorials is now gone because it's been unset. And if you look up here, you may notice that I've done unset session and update session and stuff. Basically, what that does is I've set it to echo so I know which one does what, and it loops through each of these single each of these items, uh, which each have an individual key. So the first one unset because I told it to go to zero. This next one updated, but it's still the same number, uh, same key. And this one also updated, so it's the same key. And now I'm not entirely sure what that unset session does at the end because there's no fourth value, but that doesn't really matter, so we can ignore that. Um, hello, I'll just have a quick look. It might be an extra field somewhere for whatever reason. No, there is no extra field, so I've no idea why it does that. Oh well. Um, basically, if we delete this, oh, actually, I'll just cut it out the line for now, and we refresh that, we just get no output. So all I did was just output that. However, that is quite useful when you're testing something. So I'll keep, I'll keep it like that. And also, after we've unset that session, we go on to we do an else statement, and we check. Um, 
that's pretty much saying if the value is one to it could be trillions. I uh, don't know what the maximum value is, probably isn't one. Um, then it would update the session, which is session cart. No, I've just used a variable key and not how I did it before, which was inside quotes without the variable. Because now I'm updating it depending, um, I'm updating it depending on what key it is, which is the ID of the item, which is what we're updating. And then we're updating the quantity to make it equal to value, which we've set here. So the value of the key is set up here, so we don't need to do uh, post uh, post quantity hyphen key and stuff like that. Um, and then I've just echoed out update session, which we don't need anymore anyway. Now that it's updated and the code works, so basically. If we set both of those to 1, you'll see that the value now comes down to 1 for each of those. Set it to 500 and 0, that one disappears, and that one's value is now 500. You may also notice that it updates it over here, and that is um, just going off the sessions as well. So that's the end of this tutorial, and I'm not sure, but that could be the end of the entire series. Um, I might be updating code onto. Um, oh, I just found an error. Okay, I'll fix that in a minute, and then I'll update you on how to fix that. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.